بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس لیٹس بگن اور لاسٹ اینڈ فورتھ پارٹ آف دا چیپٹر اسٹارٹ اوکے واٹ از سینارسس اٹ از بیسیکلی دا لاس آف اے لکوئڈ فرام اے جیل اسٹرکچر وائل دا جیل از اسٹینڈنگ جیسے جیسے جیل ایج کرتا ہے ویسے ہی ایمیلوز molecules or uh, some water gets squeezed out from the gel this is known as senaresis basically loss of liquid hai jo ke gel ki formation ke baad agar usko prolong period ke liye standing pe rakha jaye ya jise aging bhi kehte hain to liquid jo hai wo isko hum urdu mein kehte hain pani chhod diya اس میں سے پانی چھٹ جاتا ہے جیل میں سے ریٹرو گریڈیشن از دی گریجویل انکریز آف کرسٹلائن ایگریگیٹس ان اسٹار جیلس ڈیورنگ اسٹوریج دا ریزلٹ آف ایمیلوز مالیکیولس ری ارینجنگ ان این آرڈرلی فیشن واٹ ہیپنس ایمیلوز ان امائلو پیکٹن ڈیورنگ دی فارمیشن آف چلیٹنائزیشن ڈیورنگ دا پروسیس آف چلیٹنائزیشن ونس دے آر Uh, exposed to the water and heating it forms an orderly manner and orderly alignment of amylose it like the alignment is more orderly before and it is termed as retrogradation hota kya hai over a period of time jo amylose ki tendency hoti hai wo apne aap ko reorganize karke aur کرسٹلائن ایگریکیٹس پروڈیوس کر دیتا ہے جس کی وجہ سے جو جیل ہے وہ ایک آرڈرلی مینر میں فارم ہو جاتا ہے دس از نون ایز ریٹوگریڈیشن واٹ آر نیٹو اور ان ماڈیفائڈ اسٹارچ دی اسٹارچز آر بینگ یوز ود آؤٹ اینی ماڈیفیکیشن دیٹ آر مور نیچرل دیر آر نو chemical processes applied on the on these starches so they are known as native or unmodified starch they can be obtained from uh, sources such as corn wheat potato rice cassava and tapioca these long chain carbohydrates are insoluble in cold water but they do get soil uh, swell when they are exposed to temperature in the combination of water Waxy starch is one of the examples of native starches. These are made from 100% amylopectin and the absence of amylose inhibits the formation of gel. Thus, um, waxy starches can not be used for the formation of gel, but they can be used as a thickening agent in many food products. Modified starches. These starches are altered from its native state by chemical or physical means any kind of uh, processes can either may be chemical they may be physical that be, has been applied to the starches to change its state are known as modified starches they are modified to increase their stability against heat acid time and temperature obviously we have different cooking processes and not on uh, Uh, and native starch is useful for all of them so they are uh, modified for different purposes so that it can resist the heat it can um, um, change the stability with the modification of any um, with the ma- making and modification of any recipe so they are modified for different purposes and what are their kinds pre gelatinized starch thin boiling starches oxidized starches cross linked starches starch phosphates and spherical aggregates of starch granules let's have a look precisely we will going to have a look over these types of starches pre gelatinized starch is a starch that has been gelatinized and then dehydrated addition of water produces thicken product hamare mind mein foreign kaun se aa gayi wo instant puddings or jellies jo hame market mein available hain once they are mixed with water and uh, they 
गेट एक्सपोज टू टेम्परेचर तो उनमें थिकनिंग स्टार्ट हो जाती है थिन बॉइलिंग स्टार्चेस दीज आर टी ब्रांच अमाइलो पैक्टेन दैट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एसिड हाइड्रोलिस ऑफ स्टार्च दैट रिजर्व इन सार्ट दैट फॉर्म थिन सोल वेन दे आर हॉट बट दे फॉर्म दे हैव एन एबिलिटी टू फॉर्म अ स्ट्रॉन्ग जेल वेन दे आर कोल्ड and due to greater ease of hydrogen bonding between these molecules that results from uh, reduced branching of some starches their solubility increases and the thickening ability of these starches uh, will be decreased it is used for making gum drops food items that is need to be delivered in packaging or or more through pipes are made from thin boil starches cross linked starches these starches are form in an alkaline environment and they form gel that undergo a very limited redegradation during storage they require substitution of hydroxyl group on two different molecules within the same granule and they are thicker and they are known to be as very good stabilizing agents oxidized starches they are similar to acid hydrolyzed starch jo ki kaun si thi thin boiling starches so they are also thin boiling starches but they are produced by alkaline treatment and they another difference is that they form softer gels than thin boiling starches starch phosphates which are formed by the esterification of phosphate sodium tripolyphosphate they increase stability clarity and improve the texture of the starch paste also they reduces the senescence or weeping spherical aggregates of starch granules small starch granules and little protein can be spread dry to form edible spherical aggregates of porous nature ये ग्रैन्यूल्स जो हैं दे आर नोन टू बी एज द गुड फ्लेवर एब्जॉर्बर क्योंकि वो अपने अंदर फ्लेवर एब्जॉर्ब कर लेते हैं और इसको इन इन ग्रैन्यूल्स को जो है वो फ्लेवर कैरियर भी कहते हैं फ्लेवर विल ट्रैप फॉर प्रोलॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ स्टोरेज विद कमर्शियल टैबलेट कोटिंग सो दी स्टार्चेस आर नोन टू बी एज द फ्लेवर्ड स्टार्चेस ऑल्सो रेजिडेंसियल स्टार्च Starch that are not digested until entering the large intestine, they act as fiber to promote motility. They may be of two types: S R S one and R S two. R S one is the starch trapped in cells, is coarsely grounded in grains and legumes, while R S two native starch granule is found in raw, raw potato and banana. these starches may be used in combination with oil to serve as fat replacer they are used in conjunction with proteins gums emulsifiers in making reduced fat and fat free sauces processed meats frozen desserts and salad dressings